hey what's up everybody welcome back to another video today we are going to review the unreliable airspeed for the boeing 737 if you like this video put a like and subscribe to the channel thank you and enjoy the video Welcome to this course covering information for airspeed unreliable conditions. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to recognize possible indications and flight deck effects of an unreliable airspeed condition, manage the alerts associated with an unreliable airspeed condition, identify a reliable airspeed indication if available. Unreliable airspeed indications may result from erroneous data from the pitot-static or AOA systems, ADIRU, or airplane damage. An unreliable airspeed condition may be indicated by one or more of the following flight deck indications and effects. Difference between captain and first officer airspeed indications. Blank or fluctuating airspeed indication continuous or intermittent stick shaker, indicated airspeed disagree alert, altitude disagree alert, angle of attack disagree alert, speed failure flag, speed limit failure flag, erroneous minimum or maximum speed bars, airspeed low oral, Airspeed low, airspeed low. Overspeed warning. Erroneous flight director or FD pitch command bar. Or radome damage or loss. The images below compare the captain and first officer's PFD during an unreliable airspeed condition caused by an erroneously high AOA scenario on the captain's side. Notice the difference between the displays. The flight crew should be familiar with pitch attitudes and thrust settings for each phase of flight. Any significant change in pitch attitude and thrust setting required to maintain a particular airspeed and flight path should alert the flight crew to a potential unreliable airspeed condition. The objective of the Airspeed Unreliable Non-Normal Checklist is to identify a reliable airspeed indication, if possible, or to use the Flight with Unreliable Airspeed Turbulent Air Penetration Table in the Performance In-Flight Chapter of the QRH for the remainder of the flight. For the remainder of the course, the subject table is referred to as the Flight with Unreliable Airspeed Table. The Airspeed Unreliable Non-Normal Checklist addresses the PFD alerts resulting from an unreliable airspeed condition. The Airspeed Unreliable Non-Normal Checklist should be done any time the flight crew suspects that airspeed or mock indications are unreliable. Refer to the Airspeed Unreliable Non-Normal Checklist or to your company-specific procedures. If an unreliable airspeed condition is recognized, do the memory items of the Airspeed Unreliable Non-Normal Checklist. Within the memory items are pitch and thrust settings for flight with and without flaps extended. The goal of these pitch and thrust settings is to maintain the airplane safely within the flight envelope, not to maintain a specific climb or level flight. The memorized settings are calculated to work for all model and engine combinations, at all weights, and at all altitudes. Once the flight path is under control and the airplane is not in a critical phase of flight, do the Airspeed Unreliable Non-Normal Checklist. This video shows an unreliable airspeed scenario after takeoff. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff, engine bleeds are on. Hats are auto. Landing gear up. Flaps up, no lights. After takeoff checklist is complete. Roger. This 
stall recovery. I do not have stick shaker on my side. Okay. I do have IAS disagree, AOA disagree, out disagree alerts on my side. All right, I see the same. It appears we're not actually stalled, but we have an airspeed unreliable condition. Do you agree? I agree. Airspeed unreliable checklist memory items, autopilot disengaged, auto throttle disengaged, flight directors off. Flight directors are off. Flaps are up, pitching for four degrees, setting 75% and one. And thrust is set. All right, what's the master caution? Master caution, flight controls, field depth press, speed trim fail, lights. Okay, we'll continue with the airspeed unreliable checklist. We cancel, cancel the master, master caution. caution. All flight deck indications should be assessed to determine a reliable airspeed. To determine a reliable airspeed indication, the flight crew can use a combination of flight deck indications to recognize which airspeed is unreliable. These indications may include stick shaker activation on one side only, unusual airspeed indication on one side only, pitch limit indicator or PLI on one side only. In a suspected erroneous AOA condition, the following indications can be shown. AOA disagree alert, stick shaker activation on one side, erroneous pitch limit indicator on one side, unusual airspeed indication on one side, erroneous minimum or maximum speed bars. In this case, comparing indicated airspeed on the PFDs with the ISFD can help determine a reliable airspeed indication. If a reliable airspeed indication can be initially determined, use the reliable airspeed indication for the remainder of the flight. This video shows the crew doing the reference items on the non-normal checklist to determine a reliable airspeed. Pro P switches, check on. Following indications are reliable. Attitude, N1, ground speed, radio altitude. Note, stick shaker, overspeed warning, and airspeed low alerts may sound erroneously or simultaneously. Okay. Choose one. Reliable airspeed indication can be determined. Reliable airspeed indication cannot be determined. I have 282 knots. 279 on the ISFD. 256 on mine. I do not have stick shaker on my side. I do not have the minimum speed bar. And I do not have pitch limit indicators on my side. Okay, I'm seeing those on my side. So I would say your side is reliable. Okay, reliable airspeed indication can be determined. Use the most reliable airspeed source for the remainder of the flight. Go to step 11. Okay, we'll hold there. I'm going to transfer you the flight controls. Okay. You have the flight controls? I have the flight controls. You have the flight controls. If a reliable airspeed indication cannot be initially determined, set pitch attitude and thrust from the flight with unreliable airspeed table in the performance in flight chapter of the QRH for the airplane configuration and phase of flight. Allow the airplane to stabilize and compare each airspeed indication to those shown on the table. An airspeed indication that differs by more than 20 knots or 0.03 Mach from the airspeed shown in the table should be considered unreliable. In the following example, the flight crew encounters an airspeed unreliable condition within the terminal area. The crew completed the airspeed unreliable recall items followed by the airspeed unreliable non-normal checklist. The crew could not initially determine a reliable airspeed indication and used the flight with unreliable airspeed table in the performance in-flight chapter of the QRH. Terminal area, 5,000 feet. Flaps up and gear up. Current weight, 150,000 pounds. 
Using the table, the crew determined that setting 6 degrees pitch attitude and 53.8% N1 should result in an airspeed of approximately 210 knots in airspeed. If a reliable airspeed indication can be determined by using the flight with unreliable airspeed table of the QRH, use the reliable airspeed indication for the remainder of the flight. If it is determined that there are no reliable airspeed indications, the flight with unreliable airspeed table in the performance in-flight chapter of the QRH should be used as needed for changes to phase of flight or airplane configuration. Additionally, the non-normal configuration landing distance table of the QRH should be referenced.